I'm Mark Gillespie. Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Cast HD. This time around, I'm on location in Paris at Whiskey Live Paris. Now, I've got to tell you, you won't find many locations more glamorous for a whiskey festival than this. This is the Hotel Salon du Rothschild in the middle of the 8th arrondissement in Paris, in the heart of the city. And this is the venue this year for one of the world's best whiskey festivals. It's the third time I've been to Whiskey Live Paris, and I wanted to share just a bit of it with you. When you use this glass, you put a whiskey in it. <laughs> okay, you swirl it around. Make sure you go, and what do you do? Yeah, chuck it away. <laughs> chuck it away. When they're not dodging drams from Richard Patterson, the whiskey lovers who come to Whiskey Live Paris are doing their own dramming, and they take it seriously. France is one of the world's top two markets for whiskey exports, running neck and neck with the United States. And there's a passion here that's hard to match anywhere. I think it's the intensity of the people who come here who are whiskey lovers but just love the, not just the social aspect of whiskey but the technical aspects as well and really, really interested in flavour, really interested in technique, really interested in how to drink whiskey, what to match it with. So the gastronomy element is quite strong here. So there's kind of really liberated view about whiskey in, in France and certainly Whiskey Life Paris. You don't necessarily get in other shows. And that passion is rewarded. At least 15 different distilleries sent managers or blenders to Whiskey Live Paris. And this year's festival was the debut for a number of new expressions, including the Glen Grant 25-year-old. So today we have, we have a 25-year-old finished in all of our sherry cask for you to taste. It's absolutely amazing. I, I can sum it up in a nutshell. It's liquid Christmas cake to me. In fact, France is the only European market where Dennis Malcolm's new whiskey will be available. Most of the 800 bottles will go to Asia. That's part of the reason why whiskey lovers from around Europe make the annual trip to Paris from the Netherlands, Sweden, Germany, Italy, and more. Uh, France is a country in which there's a lot of passion for whiskey. In Italy, for example, I don't see such passion, and it's nice to come here and see so many people getting interested in the distilleries and in tasting the various products. Aberlauer is the number one selling single malt in France. A new unchill filtered 12 year old Aberlauer made its debut at Whiskey Live Paris, but don't expect to find it everywhere in France. We have a re uh, much wider range for the supermarket. Ch um, channel, uh, but we also have a whole different range which is only available in wine and spirit shops and in the very best restaurants and bars. Uh, so this gives us a complete point of difference uh, and gives us a lot of benefits and it means that people here in France can enjoy a much wider range than we're able to share with every other country in the, in the world. Why France? Can you explain it? Well, because uh, piano bought Abelard Distillery about 40 years ago. So we've already had a very close, very constructive relationship with France and they've done a great job in selling our whiskey here in France. Whiskey Live Paris is different from most of the other Whiskey Live events around the world. It's run by La Maison du Whiskey, which also publishes the French edition of Whiskey Magazine, known here as Whiskey Magazine and Fine Spirits. Each year there's a specific theme for the festival. Past years have paired whiskeys with chocolate, tea, and foods. This year's theme was duality, positive and negative, yin and yang, things like that. And exhibitors were asked to bring whiskeys that reflected that theme, along with other spirits from around the world. The original idea was to associate uh, two different products, two different expressions, men and women. You know, the idea was to play on those uh, extreme uh, those difference. I think the idea is really to make a different whiskey live every year uh, with different products, different atmosphere. And so this is what we have done this year, I think, by gathering not only uh, new distilleries, but also uh, new categories of spirits. Uh, we, we have more or less 120 exhibitors. Uh, and so the idea is really to create a new whiskey live every year. There's no way to tell what next year's theme for Whiskey Live Paris will be. They probably haven't even started thinking about that one yet. But we do know one thing. It's usually the last weekend of September, and if you can make it to Paris, I heartily recommend it. Join us for more Cask Strength Conversation each week on Whiskey Cast and at WhiskeyCast.com. From Paris, I'm Mark Gillespie.